This slide is prepared by myself, Kelvin Das, Ms. Kishel Kaur, and Ms. Azrina Binti Ainul Kamal. We are from BMI Part-Time Cohort 1. What is galactography? It is a medical diagnostic procedure for viewing the milk ducts to identify the cause of nipple discharge. It helps in precisely locating the mass within breast tissue and give useful information for surgical approach and planning. Indications and contraindication of galactography. The indications are nipple discharge bloody or clear substances, especially when no lesion is palpable or radiological detectable. Breast lesion, duct esthesia and duct carcinoma. The contraindications are exposure to much radiation can slightly increase your risk of cancer. Injury to ducts and infection and lastly but rare yet it possible to have allergy to the patient. So the procedure for a galactography are as follow. Examination uh, will normally be carried out on an outpatient basis. Normally, no intensive post uh, care will be needed. So first, uh, we will call the patient and brief the patient uh, roughly about the whole procedure. And then the patient's consent will be obtained. So once the patient's consent is obtained, the patient will be asked to uh, sit, will be seated or lying on her back with the affected breast exposed. Usually, the patient's hands will be placed beside her body or above her head. So, nipples of the, the affected breast will be cleaned and squeezed. And then, uh, this is usually to allow a small uh, discharge of fluid to come out from the affected duct. So, uh, sometimes, the radiographers may also place a warm towel on the breast, on the affected breast, to help dilate the ducts so that it will be more visible and easier for us to access. So once the milk duct is dilated, the radiologist will usually uh, insert a small blunt catheter, plastic catheter usually, uh, into the affected milk duct. Once the, milk, the catheter has been placed into the milk duct, we will place the patient's breast on the mammogram plate as if we are going to do a mammogram. And then a small amount of contrast will be injected through the catheter and a mammogram will be taken. So usually we will uh, repeat this step injecting contrast and taking another mammogram a few times until the radiologist uh, has actually obtained enough information for diagnosing purpose and usually the whole procedure will take about within 30 minutes to an hour so if you can see here this is what uh, image of what you might expect during a ductogram also known as a galactography gram uh, the doctor normally will press on the breast to identify a trigger zone then he will press on the nipple to allow a small amount of uh, discharge to come out from the milk duct and then he will place a flexible tube or cannula not usually into the duct through the nipple then a small uh, amount of contrast agent will be injected into the duct and images will be taken via mammogram. You can see here, the first image shows the type of cannula and inserted into the nipple and then the second image at the side shows that once the uh, cannula has been inserted into the milk duct a small uh, amount of contrast will be injected while doing the mammogram so the last image you can see the mammogram with the contrast agent in the milk duct 
see this was the breast of a patient and this is her nipple so during the procedure the radiologist will ask her to lie down and press on the nipple to allow a little bit of discharge to pass through the duct so if the to further uh, allow the duct to dilate we may also uh, place a warm towel a wet warm towel on the breast and on the nipple to allow the duct to dilate so that the duct where the discharge is coming out from will be easily seen, easily visualized. After finding the dilated duct from which the discharge is coming out from, doctor will place a small hollow tube into the duct. Right? So you see this is the duct, the place place the tube inside prepare the patient for the procedure. So after inserting the small catheter into the duct, the patient will be brought to the mammogram plate. And then contrast will be injected. Paddle will be brought down and a normal mammogram will be taken a few times until the doctor can see and diagnose the problem. The advantages of this study is precisely locating the locations of the lesion in the breast. This examination will enable the surgeon to conduct appropriate procedure for the patient. It is a an quick and easy examination to perform. It is less complication or side effects on the patient. Is an is a non-invasive procedure, and is less radiation used in this procedure. The the disadvantages of this study are the examination will not be performed if there is no discharge at the time due to ident due to the unidentified duct. The patient might possibly get infection like mycitis. This examination is possible to injure the duct either during the process of placing the catheter or while injecting the contrast media. This examination may delay the diagnosis if the, if the area of concern is missed or the catheter is placed in a correct duct. A wrong diagnosis can be made if the ducts are quite small and cannot be dilated during the examination. Pregnant patient need to inform the person in charge before undergo the procedure. As we know, we use uh, radiation on this study, and the patient might have allergic reaction towards the contrast. This is the galactography images. On the left side is a galactography of left left breast. On the right side is a normal galactography in CC and MLO view. And this is the carcinoma in the galactography examination. In this image, we can see that there is a large filling defects near the nipple. And this is extra vaccination. On the left image is a CC view, show immediate extra vaccination. On the right image is a 90 degree MLO view show extravasation with venous filling.